this debate is usually framed on the one hand or one extreme of human machine learning scientists are going to identify all of the building blocks of AI and then in phase one, and then in phase two, we'll start to put them all together to some giant complex thinking machine. And then on the other extreme, you've got that we're going to learn everything from scratch every time we face a new problem, because that's the best way to go. And what I wanted to take the opportunity today to do is to share that I think that there is a third alternative there that's also very interesting and worthwhile research, and that is into what I call research into AI generating algorithms, or AIGAs. And that is the launching of an outer loop, slow, compute inefficient optimization process, which is searching for and optimizing to produce an AI agent that on the inner loop is actually very, very sample efficient because the outer loop has imbued it with all of the, na the priors and the sample efficient learning strategies and the building blocks that it needs to be a powerful general AI. And I think that that's kind of a nice marriage of these two extremes because what it means is that you're not committed to learning everything in the sense of when you have a new problem, you don't start from scratch and learn everything from scratch again, but you can deploy this very sample efficient AI agent that you've produced via this original process. Now obviously we know that that can work. We have an existence proof, which is that on Earth this happened. So the remarkably unintelligent sample inefficient algorithm of Darwinian evolution produced the human brain, which is the best example of intelligence we know about. But I want to be clear that this research direction is not in any way committed to that outer loop algorithm being evolution. There's all sorts of wonderful work that's been done in gradient-based meta-learning, for example, that could get us there. So I think uh, if we want to make product, or sorry, progress on this research direction, there are three technologies that we need to invest in and research, and I call these the three pillars of AI GAs. Uh, the first is that we have to meta-learn the architectures. The second is we have to meta-learn the learning algorithms themselves. And the third is that we have to automatically generate effective learning environments so that the algorithm can itself bootstrap from very simple conditions and the production of simple AIs all the way up to producing very powerful, perhaps general AI, and do that all automatically. So um, I think that there's a clear trend in machine learning that we're all aware of, which is that originally hand-designed systems that work somewhat OK are ultimately surpassed by learned systems once we have sufficient compute. And you know, Rich Sutton and many others have pointed to this trend. And so the AIGA paradigm is an all-in bet on the fact that this trend is going to continue and will ultimately apply to the production of general AI and our most powerful AI itself. So I think that if you believe in this trend, then you should believe that the, that kind of thinking that we should take a learn it all approach should actually apply to the machinery of machine learning itself. So I think that the highest level challenge in this direction is to work on what are the abstractions and what are the efficiencies that allow efficient AIGA algorithms to exist that can run, that don't require all of the compute that was required on Earth, but that can run within the amount of compute that we have, will have available to us in the coming years. So this is definitely a long-term research agenda, and it's not what I would do if I had to solve a problem in the next two or three years. But I do think that it may, not necessarily, but it may ultimately be the fastest path to our most ambitious goals as a research community, and therefore it's worthy of our research and investigation.